this is our ram pump. Works um, by connecting a 20 meter long drive pipe running up to a heater box that's supplied by a spring. And then the water flows down into the header box, fills up down our drive pipe and starts to flow through and out this pulse valve here. So we'll just remove the block rubber here. And so as the water flows down the drive pipe up through here and flows out of our drive pipe, the speed starts to pick up and then once it gets enough momentum it flicks up the drive um, pulse valve which snaps closed causing a high spike of uh, water pressure within the system around 170 psi of uh, water pressure so once that happens that high spike of water pressure then bypasses through our one-way delivery valve into our air chamber which absorbs the shock of that high pressure sh um, pulse of water and then from the air chamber it then passes down and out through our um, tap and up our pipe to our header tank at the top of the um, highest position in the community like um, so that from there it can gravity feed back to our tap stands um, and then once it's once that cycle is complete the shock wave from the, the pulse bounces back up through the system and then it sucks the delivery of uh, pulse valve back down again and then the whole cycle happens again and this um, cycle repeats around every 1.2 seconds so it's, it's happening quite quickly um, and so therefore every every month this is pulsing every about 2 million times so 24 million times a year um, so they work quite hard and um, but they do a good job and they run for free uh, running completely off the supply of the, the water the, the stream or spring that we connect to so there's no need for mazout or benzene um, petrol or diesel as we say in New Zealand and um, no need for um, solar power they can run 24 hours a day without any stoppages so a uh, really good little system for uh, communities in middle bush or high high locations where water supplies are below your your community. And how, how far and how high can that pump the water? Maximum um, head height. Um, water water's a strange thing. It's it's not really the distance. It's the it's your head of height that you have to pump. So you always measure what it's capable of doing by measuring at the actual literal height that it has to pump um, all to do with atmospheric pressure and so um, it, it tops out uh, practically at about 100 meters as its maximum uh, pumping capacity to make it worthwhile installing a pump but most of our communities are around the 50 meters mark and how much water per 24 hours on a, on a 50 meter head height system, around two to two and a half thousand litres per 24 hours of non-stop pumping. And the, the, the higher your head, the lower your flow rate. So it's a very variable system. That every every system is unique to its location, its head height. Um, so we can't give you we can't give an exact reading for every community, but. Um, we can just estimate closely, but you know, like um, yeah, 50 meter head height will give us two to two and a half thousand liters per 24 hours. Just uh, for an average community of 200 uh, community members, that's more than enough for drinking, washing, cleaning, cooking, all the things that they need. The, the most essential water needs are met with that supply. And distance-wise, how, how like, horizontal distance, how, how, how far can it pump horizontally? Horizontally it doesn't matter too much because it's not, um, it's not horizontal, it's, 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 it's head height. So actually distance can go quite a long way. Um, um, but our, one of our systems is 100, um, 140 metres. Um, but there are others that are around 500 meters yeah. in distance. So.
I think that's it.